everyone, this is Kate O'Connor reporting for AdWeb from AirVenture 2018. It's party time tonight over at Redbird, but earlier today we flew the Cessna Caravan Amphib Flight Sim that they're showing off this year. Let's take a look. Well, this is the, uh, the first time that we've ever developed something that lands and takes off on water. So that's been an interesting um, exercise for us. But uh, we've been talking with uh, the folks at Whip Air for uh, a year or so because they felt that there was a training need for that type of um, uh, aircraft and, 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 and learning. So uh, we were approached then by uh, a couple of different customers about this, and so we decided that we take the plunge and uh, develop a float plane training device. So we've been working on it for a while, uh, probably not as long as, as most people would think. It was, um, and there's still a little more work to be done, but uh, most of the base caravan components uh, had been developed, so it was a matter of just adding the amphibious piece. So simulating floats, uh, adding the hardware that Whipair had provided us for landing gear and the water rudder, emergency gear extension, and those sorts of things. So, you know, that piece of the project didn't take that long. The next step, though, will be uh, changing this this base 208 into a uh, EX model. Uh, so that, that, that'll take um, uh, a few, few months of additional development time. There were a couple of different challenges. Um, first, whenever you're taking actual hardware from an aircraft and trying to put it into a simulated environment, it always has some sorts of uh, engineering challenges. So uh, I'm, I'm blessed with some, having some very good engineers, and so they got over that hurdle pretty quick. But simulating floats was interesting, trying to make sure that you get the step uh, on, on takeoff and um, you know making sure that the water rudder actually is you know acting as a rudder on the water and you know some of those sorts of things uh, since it was the first time we've developed something like that was uh, pretty interesting but um, actually doing something new like that is actually fun for us so I've got a bunch of people that are pretty happy we took on this project we believe that this will be used with um, with predominantly for um, uh, commercial um, operations that utilize float planes. Um, it would kind of go with the same type of customers that we've seen in our base caravans, which have been, uh, you know, small the smaller regional type of, of airlines. And we expect that a, a lot of the same thing will hold true for uh, the float plane version. The price is going to be the same as our standard caravan, the 199,000, but add another 30,000 for all the hardware for the uh, for the float plane version. So 229.9 is where where we'll end up at.